Hi everyone, um, right, I've just got some leaves, they were off a plastic stem, um, because you can, I've shown you before, but you can decorate your leaves up, uh, I've just done a cut, uh, well a few, um, this one is like an autumn leaf, it's just got different alcohol inks on it, then I've embossed it with clear embossing powder, again this one's got alcohol inks, different colours, depending on your colour scheme that you're doing, because you don't have to have plain leaves. Uh, this one has got like this, like the shabby sheet one with the crackle. It's not very, um, it's not crackled enough, that one. But then I did the black one, so cream and then black. So just paint them all first. Um, I'm just going to show you now because I'm going to do the reverse effect of the black one. So I hope I'm in shot, not really. <laughs> Let's move things up. Um, so we can actually see what I'm doing. Uh, that's a bit better. I'll move them out of the way. That's in shot. Now, all you do is take your... Um, let me get my brush. Take your brush. I've got some uh, black gesso that I'm going to use. I'll just... We'll do the big one when you can see it. And just paint them. But uh, I like doing this sort of thing um, and altering a leaf because it's totally different because a lot of these leaves we find on plants and that are just plain old green leaves as you can see. Um, and don't throw them out. I never throw mine away. I've got a drawer heaving with leaves. Which I am going to be getting rid of some of them because I have far too many I'll never ever use. I've not gone right down to the tip because that will be covered anyway. So just dry that off. You have to be careful of the type of leaf you've got in case you um, get a plastic one. But you can do them on plastic. Right, so I've done that. Take my medium, which is... This one I'm using um, is the Faux Cart Crackle Medium. And I get mine from America. I, I do, can't get it here. Or if we can, it's very, very expensive. Um, and just pop that on there like that. Now you do, for the first coat, you have to dry off as much as possible. Okay, I'm just move these out of the way. That's more or less dried off. And then what I'm going to do is just do another coat. Um, and then you semi-dry that. Okay. But just think of the project you're doing uh, and what you can do with it. So I'm just going to semi-dry that off. And then I have to be really quick. I'm just going to use this brush. Yeah, you do have to be really quick. Um, and not, you don't brush them too much. Let me get my little pot so I can dip my brush in when I need to. Like that. Okay. Uh, and really quickly. Straight up the spine. like that uh, and that's already starting to go so it's the ma a base colour that you want to shine through the crackle paint and then you dry that off completely do one layer of crackle medium dry it off completely and then one layer uh, again and semi dry it and then put your top coat on quickly and as little strokes as possible I'm just going to help that one along you can see that coming now Oops, don't want it bubbling. Uh, and there you go. You've got um, a nice leaf. And that'll still crackle. It'll just continue to crack until it's perfectly dry. And then what you can do is varnish them. They do look good varnished. But they look great in shabby sheet work. Okay. 
and any colours. The base coat can be any colour at all, or the top coat, doesn't matter. So that just shows you that you can do that. Now, I will do one with the alcohol inks, but first of all, what I've got to do, which I'm just going to do now. What did I do with my brush? Was that the one I used? Oh, it looks quite dirty. <laughs> I need to get some new brushes. I'm terrible, me. Oh, sorry, what am I doing? Got some in here. Silly old. Come on, woman, wake up. So, again, because they're green, you need to colour them first. Otherwise, your uh, colours don't show up. I generally do two coats, uh, white or cream, which, whichever colour I'm having on the bottom, so that the colours stand out. Okay? Like that. Just soak my brush. And then what I'm going to do is to add... It's got a hint of pink coming up, look, on the leaf. So it must have already been on the leaf. Just add your colour. I'm not sure whether these two are going to be. Yeah. Like that. And then. Oh, where's my thing? I've left it. I've put it away, silly old. Uh, let's get this out. Where are we? Oh. A blending solution which will blend that together so I'm just gonna I'm actually just gonna pour that on and then I'm gonna add a touch of this I'll do the green I think I'm just pouring mine on but you can do it with a sponge see I'm just doing that and then I, I am going to use a sponge next which is just to dab that but that will now look great on, um, let me just dry that off, um, a nice springtime floral display. And then if you're not quite happy with it, you can go back in and do some more, which I'm going to do. I just want mine darker a little bit. Put a bit more green in, I think. Yeah. That's fine and that'll look great on a floral display. Um but that just and then you can just emboss them to keep them like that. Or what you can do <laughs> and I'm going to do it. I'm going to use this uh, paste, which is the Dreamweaver Stencils Crackle Paste, um, because I want the colour to come through. So I've just done that first of all. And then I'm going to help that along. Just turn it over and get it bent back again. And then turn it back. Oops, it is. Mine doesn't want to go. Right, and then I'm going to put another layer on. Quite a thickish layer this time. I've got the colour underneath that I'm after. And just to leave that a minute.
and it is starting to go now. Yeah, you can see it's starting to crackle now. But that's a, like a vintage leaf now. Hope you can see that. It's starting to go. I need to keep building that up. So I'm just going to do another layer. And just build it up. And I'm going to show you what to do next. Once you've done it for this third time. Because it is the layering that's not quite smooth there. I do actually like the way it's curling. I'm going to curl it back again. And that's starting to go again. And then what I'm going to do... Put a little bit of this on my pad. I might actually do that. There, that's it. I mean, you can see it stands out far better. But, you know, it's like a grungy leaf. Hope. Let me just see if you can see that. Can you see? And it's all crackled. And it's uh, just like a grungy leaf. Um, and you can then use that on a project. I mean, obviously you can paint the back as well. But when you, I'm not sure how close I can get this. How close? Can you see? It's crackled like mad. But what a great, great texture that you've got on there. And it's just layering it up. The more layers you put on it, the better it is. But uh, that will look great on a steampunk or something like that. Um, so, like I said, there are... I'm just going to try it again with this one. In fact, I'm going to do this. I'm going to colour this one. I do like them coloured. See how it's breaks falling in with all the... Crackle. And it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Try and put wrong lids on here. <laughs> May I have a drink? Mm. I've just heard from Pixie Witch, so well done Pixie Witch. I'm glad you saw it and glad you love um, everything that's uh, going to be coming your way. Now what I'm going to do with this, I am going to take... Where have I put it? Here. <laughs> I'm also going to add some of this to this one. I want a little bit more of a... Um, crackle on here and I like the grungy look that it's giving so put a nice thick layer on to start with you just build up and build up and build up like that yeah and I'm going to use I'm going to use these in a steampunk thing I think Let's do another steampunk box. Hmm. And I'll take you through the process slowly and talk to you. <laughs> Okie dokie. While that's wet, I am also going to put a little bit more colour in it. Like that. See? Beautiful, beautiful colours. Like that. Don't know why I keep trying to put wrong lid on. Got it. Look at me. I, I always get in a piggy mess. <laughs> so you don't have to wait for anything to dry. I 
and the colours run into each other. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, nicey, nicey. Yeah. And like I say, you won't see anything else. That's gorgeous. So come on, let's have a go at this one. Whoops, bubbling, so you do have to be careful. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is to let that dry. But look at the colours on that, let me show you that. Stunning, stunning colours. Beautiful, absolutely. Um, it will crackle more as it's drying. But aren't they gorgeous? And they'll look fab on any project. I do like that. A lot. See if we can dry it off a bit more. Get that crackle going. It's starting to bubble, but we it'll dry back. It is going to it's going now, you can see it. But um I just thought I'll come along and show you. You know, you can change your leaves to whatever you want them to be. I hope you can see the crackle on that one. Here's the black one. Here's a grunge one. And then you can have those to match any product, project, project. And that's also got glitter on it as well. Um, just a great way to do up your leaves. Instead of having them plain green. Which do you prefer? <laughs> there you go. Right, I'll be back shortly because I've got something else to show you. I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.